All right, shallow one. This is a brother from the GM of South Carolina. He came back with another video. Before we go any further, we've all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Kark, with Dodge, the Barn, Star Apostle, and Elders of Great Millstone, for teaching us the truth according to the Bible rule well, and peace and blessings so for like the other nation of Israel, take the spirit and power of Yahweh Shem, Yahweh Shai. Basically, it's going to go into a lesson that our people hate the word. You know, I hate our people, you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans who are the true biblical Hebrew Israelites. You know, you ultimately hate the the Bible. You know, you hate the, the truth according to the Bible. You know, because, you know, you got a lot of these so called, you know, Christians, uh, you know, God fearing um, believers, you know, who go to church every week in and week out. You know, they read little skippets of the bible and they may uh like those parts but really they don't because they don't have the full understanding of the scriptures you know and more importantly they're gonna hate the men the lord you know who is bringing out the words of yahweh by shema shai you know reproving our people rebuking them you know because our people hate to be reproved they hate to be cor corrected this is Amos chapter 5 verse 10 They hate him They rebuke him in the gate You know here it is Christianity they, They're they all about love They're all about loving one another You know you hear You see a lot of these um These run ins You see a lot of these run ins on YouTube You know you got these uh so called Christians They're yelling they're screaming They're um acting like maniacs You know and then at the end of it all They, they say I love you I love you but no, your actions that you're showing towards the true men of the Lord, the true men of Yahweh by Shema Shai is hate, you know? And that's scriptural. It's Amos 5 and 10. They hate him that rebuketh at the gate. Yeah, our people, you know, and whether who who they hate, they hate the men of the Lord. And how they re re rebuke our people with the word, you know, at the gate is out there on the highways and byways. You know, that's where there's the most controversy when when this word is coming out Amos 5 and 10 they hate him they rebuke him at the gate and they abhor him that speaketh uprightly yeah they try to avoid us you know for speaking uprightly you know they try to um they walk across the street and, and we're the ones who are speaking uprightly we're the ones that are speaking the truth according to the bible telling our people you know once again you so-called negroes latinos and native americans that if you don't repent and turn back from your wickedness that you're gonna die you know what we tell our we we go out there and and profess that the true name of the heavenly father is Yahweh, and the true name is only begotten son is Yahweh shy that god does not love all nations that uh what um salvation is only open for the israelites and our people hate this, you know, but it's not us they hate, you know, it's not us who they're despising. It's ultimately the Heavenly Father, you know, yeah, and, and his only begotten son, Yahweh by Shema Shai. These are these are the the entities who you are coming up against. We are just the messengers of the Lord. It's not our words that we're out there rebuking our people with. No, it's the words of the Bible that we're rebuking our people with and reproving them. First Thessalonians four and eight. He therefore that despiseth, you know, and that word despise basically means hate, you know, he therefore that hateth, despiseth not man, you can't despise man, you know, we are just reading out of a book, you know, <laughs> out of a book that you, um, your pastors hold in your church every weekend, that they sit, that you so-called Christians, you so-called Bible believers, you know, you sleep next to your bed stand, we are just reading out of the book, the book of life, you know. The words of the Lord. He therefore that despiseth despiseth not man, but the most high. Yeah. Here it is, you know, oh the word of God. You know, our our people are hypocrites. You know, they say they love the word of God, they love the Bible. I can't I love this scripture, I love that about the Bible. But no, our people they don't. Because what through their actions they show that they hate the Lord. 1 Thessalonians 4 and 8, and it reads, But the Most High, who have given us His Holy Spirit. Yeah, so the words that we're speaking are not our own. These are the words of Yahweh by Shema Shai. The Lord has put His Spirit in our mouths, and we are speaking His words. Matthew 10 and 20, For it is not ye that speak, 
but the spirit of your father which speaketh in you yet. Yeah. So it's not us out there on the highways and byways speaking these words, reproving our people, rebuking the nation of Israel, you know, telling them to repent, telling them to stop, you know, uh put the cigarettes down, the, the um the fucking tobacco down, you know, put down the the weed, you know. Stop um going to the barber shop and marring the corners of your head, you know, stop getting these crazy haircuts just to try to fit in with this world it's the lord that it's the lord that condemns all that it's the heavenly father this is matthew 10 and 20 again for it is not ye that speak but the spirit of your father which speaketh in you yeah so it's not us out there in the highways and byways speaking it's the it's the lord speaking to our people Scriptures say in Amos 3 and 7, Surely the Lord would do nothing, but he revealed his secret unto his servants of prophecy. Yes, yeah, so the God of the Bible is not going to come down personally and speak with our people. He's always sent for his sent forth his messengers, and the true messengers of Yahweh by Shema Shai have always been hated, you know, especially of the non-believers. This is uh Luke 10 16. He that heareth you, heareth me. And this is written in red, so this is Lord Yahweh I speak on, who the world England called Jesus Christ. He that hear of you, hear of, not, hear of me, and he that despise of you, despise of me. And he that despise of me, despise of him that sent me. Yeah, and who sent Lord Yahweh when, 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 when who the world England called Jesus Christ was on the scene, what did he say? He said, um, I came not to do my will. But the will of the Heavenly Father who sent me. So what you are despising your maker, you know, and that's not gonna go well with you. All the enemies of Yahweh by Shema Shai are gonna be put down at the last. You know, like it tells you in Luke, I believe that's the, the um was that the nineteenth chapter? Or maybe the twenty first chapter. About um I haven't got that one in a while. How the um all those who wish not that the Lord shall reign over them, bring hither and slay them before me. You know, um, they are the enemies of Yahweh Shemashai are gonna be put down, you know, the haters of the Lord for hating the only begotten son. This is Saint John seven to seven. The world cannot hate you, but me it hate it. Yeah, once again this is red and red. The world cannot hate, you know, us. We hey, we were just given uh, um, we were just given a task, you know, a, a service, you know, a job to do from our, from our master, you know? St. John 7 and 7, the world cannot hate you, but me that hateth, because I testify of it, that the works thereof are evil. Yeah, and we are testifying against this world, you know, that the, that the works are evil, you know? Here it is, you know. God did not say to love everybody, you know. Even then, they showed this false unity that everyone was created equal. You know, this plantation Christianity has really destroyed the minds of our people. That when the truth of the Bible comes out, you know, our people hate it. But our people have always hated the truth. You know, you hated Lord Yahweh Shai when he was on the scene. Our people hate doing things decently in order. You know, you got this woman... I think it's all right to teach the Bible. When the scriptures clearly speak against that. This is St. John chapter 15, verse 18. If the world hates you, and the world does hate us, you know, because we are not of this world. You know, Yahweh Shema Shai has separated us from this world. This world, they, it loves its own, you know. Here it is, you know, you can have a group of strangers you know, come along in this world, and, you, and they can all get along, but what, their, their one thing that's holding them together is their wickedness, you know, it could be, you know, doing drugs, it could be that they're all into getting tattoos, you know, a number of things, you know, they could, they could have um, many disagree disagreements, you know, just like you got this so-called unity camps, they, all came together they put their differences aside you know because what they have one thing in common they hate y'all by shema shai this is saint john 15 and 18 if the world hates you you know that it hated me before it hated you yeah so what you hate lord yahweh shai you know this world has always hated the heavenly father and his only begotten son 
if you were of the world, the world will love his own. Yeah, and the world does love his own, you know? This world loves its own. That's why, you know, hey, you, you can see it. You know, that's why the men of the Lord get so much hate because we are not of this world. We are against this world. We, through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shema Shai, condemn this world in their wickedness, in their wicked deeds. But I have chosen you out of the world. Yeah, Lord's, we know we were called, you know, but Lord's willing, we were chosen out of this world, you know. To receive salvation. But I have chosen you out of the world. Therefore the world hate. If you remember the word I said unto you. The servant is not greater than, greater than his Lord. If they have persecuted me. They will also persecute you. If they have kept my sayings. They will keep. They will keep yours also. But all of these things will they do unto you for my name's sake, because they know not him that sent me. I'm going to jump down to verse 23. He that hateth me hateth my father also. Yeah, so what? Our people, once again, you hate Yahweh Shema Shai. You hate the words of the Lord. You hate being a reproved, corrected. You know, and that, that hate trickles down to the men of the Lord, the ones who are bringing the message of Yahweh Shema Shai out. St. John 17 and 14. I'm going to bring a couple more because I got to go into work soon. This is St. John 17 and 14. I have given them thy word, and the world hath hated them. Yes, yeah, so the Lord, Yahweh Shema Shai, has given us his word. You know, the true men of Yahweh Shema Shai, starting with our apostles and elders of Great Millstone, and the men on down, you know. I have given them thy word, and the world hath hated them. I'm going to look up that word, hate. It says, fill intent our passionate our passionate dislike for someone. Yeah, so they they basically dislike us. It says has a strong have a strong aversion to something. Usually a uh, use pro pro, pro, pro pro literally to uh, express one's regret or embarrassment at doing something. No, that's not it. Hate on you know, basically dislike, hate to what? You so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. You know, and there's a judgment for hating the God of the Bible. There's a judgment for um, hating the Lord, which I'm going to get, and I'm going to close it out. This is Proverbs chapter 13, verse 13. Whoso despiseth the word, you know, and you, you know, despising the men of the Lord, the ones who are bringing out the word, we have already established that you are ultimately despising Yahweh by Shema Shai. And what, what's the scripture? That the word was made flesh. Was made flesh. So Lord, you're ultimately hating Lord Yahweh Shai. Whoso despiseth the word shall be destroyed, but he that feareth the commandment shall be rewarded. Yeah, so you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, you know, um, what did... Um, what did, I, um, what did um, Nas say? You can hate me now. Just continue to keep hating, you know? Because what? There's good, a judgment is surely going to follow for you hating the words of the Lord. And with that, Lord's willing, brothers, will edify through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shema Shai. Before we go any further, we'll give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh by Shem, Yahweh Shai, by Shem, Rakar Kodash, Devon, Star, Apostle, and Elders, the Great Millstone, for teaching us the truth. According to the Bible, and rule well, and peace and blessings to all collect of the nation of Israel. Take some we say, shall want.